So I guess I have to start. The time has come. Um, so I'm gonna firstly remove the bumper. Just remove the bumper so that the engine hoist can fit underneath and then I'm gonna use the engine hoist to connect to this bash bar thing up here. Or I don't know what you call that thing. And then lift the car up because I have that little small trolley jack but doesn't lift the car very high. I'm gonna put those in for safety and then go underneath the car and see what all i need to loosen up and remove i need to disconnect the exhaust um disconnect or remove the gearbox bracket or the gearbox mounting and then the prop shaft that goes between the gearbox and the rear differential and yes see what else is there then that engine mounting over there will be easy to remove, it seems like. And the other one, hopefully I don't need to remove the supercharger and everything like that again. We'll see when I get to that. But yes, just basically take the whole nose of the car apart. So let's go. Okay, so underneath the car, there's the exhaust, got disconnected, remove this bung, it's just hanging over there, and then there was like a exhaust bracket that went from the exhaust to the gearbox, over here, remove this earth wire, there, like in there, was like a pin, I removed two pins to release the gear shifter from the gearbox so that thing is loose over there check out these two bolts over here for the gearbox mount i also removed the prop shaft bolts this one this one and number three is at the back there i'm assuming it has like a spline type of thing in here because it doesn't want to come out that engine mounting seems to be you can just unscrew it over there and then it will come out um, so yeah, I think most of the things underneath are good. Okay, so I'm removing the wipers and everything because I need to connect the engine hoist to the engine back there, take out these vacuum lines, get these wires out of the way, drain the radiator, remove this, remove the radiator, remove all these pipes and yes remove wiring get that out of the way disconnect everything from the engine so let's get into that
ones is all disconnected so that I can get this these wires out of the way and already broke a few things so this water pipe that runs over here to this that broke off quite easily and then this vacuum pipe next i'm gonna drain the radiator water and then start removing the radiator and everything i can up front i don't want to remove that yet i'll have to lower the core back down again and make another plan so that i can use that jack because i will have to move the car backwards when i remove the engine because i don't have space so we have to like drag the engine out so yeah let's keep on going Whew. all right so that was kind of dangerous but i just opened the door and held my breath and just get all the gas out so i got both of the radiated things out and i think i made some good progress tonight hopefully tomorrow i can remove the engine so it's what's currently almost 12 o'clock so yeah i think i'm gonna call that a night and continue tomorrow Lower the car back down again and moved it a bit back so that I can have some space over here to pull the engine this way. And then um, I just removed this bar. So, yes, let's see if this engine can come out. progress kind of cool um, so I just need to get all the wires disconnected over yeah aircon um, starter over there can't really see the starter so this wire this wiring harness goes inside there so I just need to disconnect everything on this side and then there was an explosion so this heater hose broke off here can't believe i didn't see that but yes and seems like the whole drive shaft is coming with so we'll see how that goes um a few things oxygen sensor or whatever that is still needs to be disconnected hmm but so far so good
So last night I got the engine out and I just dropped the car back down again because at night I need to push it forward to be able to close the garage. So yes, today I'm gonna see what else I need to remove, like all this carpet so that I can see what's behind it. Maybe I can take this, seems like an extra piece I can take out to make some more room for the engine. I guess I have no idea how big or what the dimensions for the M104 is. There's the engine mounting and the other one is on this side. And then I'll put a picture up here of the M104 engine so that you can see uh, what I talked about in my last video. This is the bar that goes across, which I think is going to be a problem or I kind of know it's going to be a problem. But my plan for that is to maybe cut a piece out like the width of the sump of the M104 and then just make a, a new bracket that goes across. I have to figure that out when I have the engine and can measure everything. But yes. I'm gonna take out all the extra things like these AC pipes, um, the carpet, this heat shield I think I'm gonna leave here. You can use that again. Um, then the carpet goes all the way back around the gearbox. I'm gonna take that everything out just to make it easier to work. I still need to remove that gearbox mount over there. And yes, so let me push the car back and jack it up again and see what I can remove. sure I've decided to go with the M104 3.2 liter inline six cylinder. Thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed and uh, it does motivate me a lot to keep going and keep grinding on this and um, hopefully all goes well and it'll be great. So please like the video and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.